Who else is called Kodesh HaKadoshim? So in this week's parsha, Parsha's Emel, it says, Umina Migdash Layetze, the Koen Kodol. He's the only one that doesn't leave the base of Migdash, the Kodesh HaKadoshim, even for the seven close relatives. Why? The reason is, is because the, the Kohen Gadol, whose Lifnai Vilifnim goes into Kodesh HaKadoshim, into the Holy of Holies, is in a place that's beyond time. It's beyond reality, as inside the Kodesh HaKadoshim, we know the Oren didn't take any, any space. The Kohen Gadol represents the Mokim, a special Mokim. Ham Mokim Yenachim. A mokayim, that there's no such concept as a velus, as mourning. Why? Because a koyen who's nimshach, nimshach b'shem and hamishcha, mishcha is the oisios, is the letter simcha. He has to be at a state of joy all the time. Someone that's really in what's called nimshach b'shem and hashem is the letters of shmoina. It's beyond this world, like the Maral says in many places. It's beyond this reality. It's beyond the world of mourning. Shabbos, which Rabbi Shem Chai the Zohar says, Rabbi Shem Chai was called Shabbos because it's also representing Me'eno Elam Haba. We're going into Shabbos, a time that we could transcend this physical world. We're connecting to Rabbi Shem Chai that the Zohar HaKadosh has such incredible things. What was so special? He reached a level transcending this world, he reached a level where he was in Kodesh HaKadoshim. He reached a level that he was so pnimi, so inside that everyone attached to Rav Shimon Why? As the Elif Morgan writes and many others, Rav Shimon in all of Shas holds Dover She'enu Miskav in his mother. If you don't have the intention, it's okay. And this works both ways. He couldn't stand when they were praising the Roman government. Why? because their intentions were for themselves. So he had to run away, he had to protest, and he had to hide in the cave. At the same time, when he was walking out of the cave, even though initially he had fire coming out of his eyes. But then afterwards, when he went back into the cave, and he came out, and he saw a Halik a a Jew, running with myrtles, with Hadassim for Shabbos, Kodesh, for Zach of he was so inspired. Every Jew connects with Shem Rechai because Shem Rechai says that he's Einu Miskav and that means when a person does something wrong but the intention is not there. It's mutter. It's mutter. It's okay. Because it's about inside. And every one of us has really that place called Kodesh HaKadoshim. Every one of us has a Neshama that's beyond this world that transcends this world. And that's why at the end of Shem Rechai what did he do? He was Metayel or there was a whole area that Kohanim couldn't walk, and he was able to bring it afloat and exactly give the exact places where there were, bur- where there were dead people buried in order to remove Avelis, to remove death. It says that Rabbi Shum Ba'ichai is a gematria mechai mesim. And as they say from the Kutzka, that it's harder, to, more, hard, more difficult than being, being mechai mesim is being mechai chaim. In this world, especially today, we have to bring chiyas, we have to bring happiness, we have to bring joy. And when we connect to Shem Rechai, that's what's called Yom Adihilu, it's a day of a wedding. It's such an incredible joy because we connect to something so much deeper, something that so much transcends this world, Shemen, Sasan, that we should feel, we should get close to Kodesh HaKadosh, we should see the Kodesh HaKadosh inside of us. We should know what we're living for. We should connect we should be close to our wives and, and our spouses, husbands to wives and wives to husbands. And if someone doesn't have right now, is not married, they should connect to the Kodesh HaKadoshim inside of them. Like Rishun Ba'ichai was actually, for 13 years, he was at, without his wife in a cave. He connected to such a deep place and he connected to the Rabban Shalom. Especially in this world of such impurity, to be able to connect to purity, Shemen Zai Zacha, to be pure oil. And if it means that a person is, looks a little bit strange, because now they're more careful when it comes to the Internet. It, a person, today it's, it's, almost, it's almost odd, it's almost too from, but when we understand what it means to have a true, pure relationship with the Rebbe it's not crazy. 
to say I don't look at videos, I don't look at pictures without my wife checking it out first. I don't use a phone, I don't just open up every video that someone sends me. Today a person, people lost the, the sensitivity of what it means that it's okay to look, it harms. It's not about even the halacha, it's a spiritual damage. We want to connect so much to Hashem and at the same time we allow so much to come in. Be careful and have an amazing Shabbos. Hatzacha.